and gentlemen, he is a reigning world number one. He is a defending and reigning Premier League champion. And he is the reigning champion of the world. It's mighty Michael Bagnoli! The energy flowing towards the stage here is phenomenal. 9,000 already packed, just gone 7 o'clock. Wayne Martin, you've got a tear in your eye. Well, look, look, you see the way Michael come on. It was in appreciation of everyone being here. And Michael's one of the first to acknowledge that we, without fans, this, this sport is finished. And uh, they've absolutely piled into this, this venue. And I think they're in for a cracking night. He won 7-1 against Dave Chisholm last week. He, he was ruthless. He was ruthless, yeah. And, and Dave had over 100 average himself. Uh, we know that Michael's going to play to something like 104, 105 average. That's kind of what he does. And we know averages don't win games, but they tell a story. And, and James, James's average is loitering down at 94. Uh, he's just not playing like we know he can, for whatever reason. He's just going for a bit of a trough at the moment. But I'm sure that they can turn that round and put in a better performance than last week. Tough night at the office for Wade. Van Gogh to start the night. Barney to round off the night. Yeah, well, it could be the, the absolute peach of a night that, that he's dreaming for. But we know with James that he's so capable. Great night ahead. Wade Van Gogh to kick off the evening. John Parr and Nigel Pearson in commentary. Baggadaid, yes, and what a lineup we have here this evening. Five wonderful games, and as Dave was mentioning there, what a way to start. Birthday boy James Wade up against MVG, who was in fantastic form last week to tear apart Dave Chisnell in Cardiff. Michael Van Gogh and the league leader by a point ahead of Peter Wonder. Wright. Of course, now we've bid farewell to Yella Klassen and Kim Hybrecht. 10 become 8, and the battle is on to reach the top four after Aberdeen on May the 11th. The rest of the season, the next phase of the tournament, if you like, starts here. You've been up there on the big stage, John. Terrific atmosphere out there. Yeah, it is. It's uh, pretty electric. You can feel the energy. And when you get up there in that atmosphere as a player, you, you really want to live up to it, you want to use it. It's hard to be uh, caught off guard. A bullseye now for a 170, and that would have been the crowd pleaser of all crowd pleasers to get us underway. Yes, what a start it would have been. Tops for Wade. Being shown the first leg. Good start, James Wade, beaten by Rilla Van Barneveld last week, and currently seventh in the league table. Three points off the top four. 97. Yeah, well, the schedule, the fixtures, it really hasn't done James Wade much of a favor in terms of making it easy. But we know he's a survivalist. He can get through 100. the most precarious of spots and come out a champion at times. And I think this test, uh, this this night, so important to him that it might just be something he can do. MVG so close to that 170. What a start to the night. That would have raised the roof straight away. But former Premier League champion James Wade took his opportunity when it mattered. Yeah, he started the leg well. Uh, right from the outset, James Wade looked like he means business. He missed the 180 his first turn, I believe, and obviously didn't miss double. 
Well, these two met in Manchester only a fortnight ago in the Premier Michael League. Michael pulling through 7-4 on that occasion. Now looking to just set it up with Wade 94. not on a finish. A nice last dart from MVG. Yeah, and it was a decent performance from James Wade that night. But unfortunately for him, it, it set in a spin of, of losses since then, uh, both in the Premier League and on the tour. Close games as well. What a piece. Michael Van Gerwen. Well, his reaction says it all. Good to get off the mark. Level up straight away. Good game so far. Only two legs, but both a ton plus. Van Gerwen comfortably a ton plus, 117. With his average. Still waiting for the first 180. James looking right on. Oh, no, 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 no. Didn't have to wait long, did we? Goodness me. Wonderfully played and <laughs> we're gonna get oh, another. No, no, no. There you go. <laughs> oh, he was reminded of what he was supposed to be doing by James and obliged. Wonderful dance. 100. Great way to start the night. Michael switching down, but yeah, he needs to stay there. The single would have left him a shot. As it is, James Wayne in control of this leg he started, despite Michael's answer of a 180. Michael's still going to need a big one here, Nigel. He is very much so. We know he can do it. This would hurt Wade big time. Treble 20 would leave the ball now. It's not going to happen, so. Two dart combo for Wade here if he hits. Travel with the first dart. Tops. Oh, brilliant. Third leg. Superb James finishing Wade. from James Wade. Michael, first. first time of asking on the two legs that he's won. He's hit the double, and here comes oh, Van Gerwen. Well, it's really fantastic to see James playing this well. Turn up. And it means so much as far as this Premier League goes. This night is everything for James. One out of your 14. Not a bad way to spend your birthday, playing in front of 9,000 people in the city of Dublin. One of the oh, nine. yes, the second 180 for Michael Van Gogh, and that's 35 in the Premier League now for MVG. Fifty-nine. Nice second dart as well, stays well, down the board. Four. Superb from Michael Van Gerwen. Possible 11 dart leg from MVG coming up. Yeah, well, it's been all Michael, Michael Van Gerwen on legs he started. And this is where James Wade's crafty. He doesn't have to break him necessarily to get a point at least. James shot on the fourth leg. Michael Van Gerwen with like he's seen. 12 darts, but got the job done superbly. 2-1-8, he's averaging 116.7 now, and look at this from Wadey. Very, very consistent. He's averaging 105 now. Terrific standard early on here. Yeah, most of that average is from good legs on to his own throw. And really, he, he's that experienced, he knows. He just has to play well on his own throw, and he can be in this match at the end of it. 140. 140s. He's hitting those for fun, isn't he? 140s times five now for James Wade. 139. It's fair to say he's frustrating Michael Van Gerwen because, you know, Michael's at a 114 average, yet he, he really can't get close to breaking. The closest he got was the 170 miss. 99. Yeah, even contest so far then here in the three arena in Dublin. First game of the night. 123. James Ducar, 122. No need to go for the combination for the ball. We'll want the ball, though, now to leave 32, 65. perhaps. That might even be better because now he can go 17 and go for his tops, which he's been right on hitting tonight. 96. James Ducar, 57. 
17 leaves tops. He hasn't missed one yet. Right on cue. Immaculate finishing for James Wade. 3 2 he leads, and what a good start in response here from Michael Van Gogh as well with a 140. Terrific standard here, John. And a good answer developing now. James sensing maybe this is the time. He can stay in the leg to the end and maybe get a dart for a break. Well, as you say, the closest to. 174. Goals to 170. That's the ball. And the averages tell the story. Consistency the key with both 81. players here. Very unlucky third dart for James there. Easily could have been a 140. Touch of deflection into a one. 95. Well, James is back up in the last game of the evening tonight. Plays uh, Barney. Well, his arms should be fresh because they're not using that many darts in these legs. <laughs> Good point. Well, MVG leaves tops if he comes back. Now, another one of those would do nicely. Well, I think he was just thinking, do I go for two double Michael tops? And maybe he should have the way he was hitting him. That's the target for Michael. Double 10. Oh, it's a bust. No a double 15. So no score. And James has the opportunity he was hoping for. Break and throw for 4-2, and still he has James not Wade. missed a dart Seven of a double. James Wade 4, Michael Van Gerwen 2, and Wade has the darts for a 5-2 advantage. Isn't he playing well here? Well, two very tightly thrown darts by 95. Michael. It, the effort at top's about an inch low, and then low on the double 10 effort, resulting in the bust. So, although he... A much better effort. A little adrenaline fires him up, gets the strength back. I think he meant that. <laughs> 100. Well, he knows as well as anyone. He needs to break straight back, and these are the darts that'll do it. 139. Well, now Wade under pressure needs a big score here. 83. Now a determined Michael Van Gerwen looking to set himself up for the finish to break back. 140. Only steady, 140. So you fancy Van Gerwen from here to get a break back immediately. You do, but will he have any memory of the really what poor doubling it? effort? Pressure 82. on. Two darts in hand, double 16, double eight. Oh, he gets it. That was Michael pressure. Gerwin. That was eight pressure. Held his nerve. And it's a break back immediately for Michael Van Gerwen. Can't take your eyes off this one. Yeah, there was a, a great deal of relief in that hitting that double well, eight for Michael. 34. This man, James Wade, then seventh in the Premier League. Before this game, eight points from well, nine 14. matches. Point behind Adrian Lewis, who plays Gary Anderson tonight. And MVG, a point clear 85. of Peter Wright at the top of the table. And we have Barney and Taylor coming next. If this is a curtain raiser, goodness me. Raymond Van Barneveld and Phil Taylor head to head next after this game. Well, right now we have two guys averaging 109, but yet we're we could have a third consecutive break of throw. Quite quite a possibility now. James will have the opportunity. All the signs are this one could go the distance. James Great way to start. 11 would leave the ball. Needs the ball for a break of throw. 96. And once Michael again, Michael under some pressure. This time to hold. 
14. No, so double 11. Yeah, you show the eight, no right? pressure oh, showing there. Here. That was the easiest oh, of executions. Coolness. Brilliant. That was clinical from Van Gerwen. Couldn't six. afford a slip. Took his opportunity. And we're level at four apiece. And here oh, comes Van yeah. Gerwen again. 4 180s for him, two for James Wade. And Van Gerwen now in his 10th Premier League right. match of the season. Has hit 37 180s. And what about these for averages as well? 190. Wade 108. Van Gerwen 112. There you are. What a way to start the 65. night. But it's Van Gerwen now. Really reeling off the legs. Under great Francis pressure Jones. just performing doing what he has to do we've seen this so many times now in the past three years he just finds answers he's good at it the best at it now can he take this needs double 16. 90. Okay, it's a miss, but this is a hundred effort just to hold his throw, so he's under a lot of pressure. Could be the tops. That didn't work either for him. He didn't go that way earlier in the match, maybe when he should have. This for a break of throw for Van Gogh, and this could be the key. That could be a key moment in the match. Could be decisive. Now if he holds his throw, he will not be beaten by James Wade. All the pressure will be back on the machine. He's already. And look at this from MVG. Oh, what a goodness me! Yeah, he's absolutely in his zone of focus. One longer. Van Gogh ahead for the first time. Who would have thought that? But now he has the opportunity to kick on and win it from here. Yeah, and for James to even get a point out of this match now, he'll have to get a break of throw of Van Gerwen. And 95. What started out and was sustained for so long as a great performance by James looks once again to be unrewarded. 100. Michael's up at 111 and a half. It's that kind of performance that he's had to give to edge ahead of James Wade. 96. Michael Brown, 125. Well, no pressure for Van Gerwen here. Wade's not on a finish. Goes the 18 route here. It's going to be back for a 6 4 lead at tops. Well, 90, uh, 50 would leave the uh, tops. 145. Not that it Michael probably Brown matters the mood. Michael is in this for a point. Great marker. It was a great marker indeed, and Michael Van Gerwen will not be beaten. Having taken the lead for the first time less than five minutes ago. And now, James Wade is going to need performances like that and more to save this match. Well, he has to think positively. Win this leg. That he's starting to throw, which he's done. He's defended this throw very well in this match. Just the one blip. 134. Against many other players, Wade would be home and dry by now. But look at this for a go. Six 180s now for Michael Van Gerwen. 112.3 MVG. 99. Van Barneveld and Taylor standing by to come next. He's at it again here. 123. Pressure Gerwen on Wade here to save the match now. With Van Gerwen sat on 58. Double 14 for James Wade to save the match. One dart in hand. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant.
Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's a chance for a point. He just has to win this leg of yards, James. Okay, against throw is irrelevant. He just has to get it in his mind, win the leg. Create the opportunity. Needs 140s, you feel. Yeah, Van Gerwen didn't hit a treble there, so... Wade gives himself a real opportunity. It's a great 140 from James Wade, but what a response from Van Gerwen! 135. Mm, a good score, but not enough if James keeps going, and he is. Needs another treble. Right on cue, brilliant. Two one forty from Wadey. Got to take your hat off to him, haven't you? Well, uh, I'm as impartial as you can be, but you feel like he deserves a point after yeah. this effort. Yes, absolutely. Wow! Oh, Leaves forty one. Oh. Van Gerwen here. Oh, how cruel is this? Double twelve. Oh, And that's first up, and coming next, it's the big one, Raymond Van Vanderveld and Phil Taylor.